more about Math League, join us for an informational meeting after school on Thursday, September 14th in room E4. Creative Writing Club will begin Tuesday, September 12th in room W12. All are welcome. We would love to meet new members this year. The Webster Central PTSA will be holding a swap until you drop coat and concert clothing swap at Spry Middle School on Saturday, September 16th from 9 to 1. Trader families are encouraged to bring in any gently used, clean donations of coats. That white stuff will be falling faster than you know it. And concert clothing. Dressy black bottoms and dressy white tops only, please. Drop-offs can be made in any of the house offices, as well as the main office, from Monday, September 11th through Friday, September 15th. Please consider helping out a great cause. If you have any questions, see Ms. Woodward in W13. Thank you in advance. Attention students, stage crew for this year's musical production of Les Mis is ready to begin. We are looking for students who love to build, paint, and want to be part of our backstage team. Please come to an informational me information meeting on Monday, September 11th at 4 p.m. in the chorus room. If you are unable to come to the meeting but want to be a part of stage crew, please stop down to the chorus room before Monday and see Mrs. Zugelder. That's it for me, and now over to Caitlin. Thank you, Soleil. Key Club is collecting any of the following donations for victims of Hurricane Harvey. Please drop off to the Counseling Center through Friday, September 15th. Items can include canned food goods, gift cards, cereal, peanut butter, paper towels, and more. Please see flyers posted through the school or stop into the Counseling Center. Registration forms and practice PSAT books are now available in the Counseling Center. If you have any questions, please speak with Mrs. Butto. The test will take place on October 14th at Thomas High School. The field hockey team defeated Hilton 2-1 in overtime on Wednesday night. Abby Moon started off the scoring and Olivia Callery scored the game-winning goal 2 minutes and 38 seconds into overtime. The team played excellent defense led by goalie Ashley Morgan who came up with 4 saves in the win. The Warriors take on crosstown rival Webster Thomas tonight at 4 p.m. on our home turf. Congratulations to the varsity volleyball team on a much needed win for Spencerport last night. Leading the way for the Warriors was Vicky Shaw with 10 aces and Nicole Conciato with 4 kills. Great job ladies. For any girl interested in playing softball, there will be a short softball meeting on Monday, September 11th in room W14 at 2.30 to discuss fall opportunities. And again, all student writers and directors for Friday Night Live. There is an important meeting today after school in W15. Be there or be square. That's it for me, and now over to Jasmine. Hi, everyone. Our new diversity club that you probably heard about last year is now named HOPE, which stands for Helping Other People Embrace. Our first meeting is right after school on Monday, September 11th in Mr. Watkins' room on the Upper West Side. We are welcoming anyone who wants to be a part of this new club here at Schrader. Staff, students, anyone. We celebrate everyone's differences, whether it's gender, race, sexual orientation, activity. We embrace it all. Please come find out what we are all about. Hope to see you there. Now over to a commercial. Or Mr. Ben. Or, or, Mr. Ben. <laughs> or me. Thank you very much, Jasmine. Had a great night last night with Link Crew in the class of 2021, playing some kickball out in a turf stadium. Um, just want to let all students and staff know, just a reminder, we're having a fire drill, first fire drill of the year this morning, actually right after the morning show here. So um, the rain has held off. Teachers, please remind students exactly what our expectations are and also let us know if you're missing any students when you return so we can take care of that. Just as an FYI, uh, New York State requires that we have eight fire drills slash evacuation drills throughout the year. We'll do six in the fall, two in the spring. Now we also have to do, we are required, which is a good thing, for the safety and security of our school, we do four lockdown drills. And those again will be two in the fall and two in the spring. Uh, we'll announce and talk probably the first one or two through that, and then we'll do two unannounced um, kind of special situations one. So again, this is all to help promote safety and make sure that we all know what to do if this uh, ever occurs, which obviously uh, we do not want to occur, but just so that we are prepared. So thank you very much. In the next couple of minutes, we'll be having a fire drill. So please be prepared. Have a great Friday. <laughs> 